Live, I'm Christina Guerrero. And I'm Jimmy Rhodes. And KG, those immersive art experiences have exploded in popularity the last few years, allowing people to experience the world's greatest artwork in a revolutionary new way. Yes, and because the shows travel and are so visually striking, they've become a huge favorite on social media. But is this just a passing trend or could it be the future of art? An insight into immersive art is our featured story at the top of the list. Immersive art experiences have drawn massive crowds from across the globe in recent years. You can't escape it. If you yeah. have been at home, you've seen these huge, really blockbuster, immersive displays. The art is around you, and you get to be a part of that world in some way. Immersive Van Gogh, Immersive Monet and the Impressionists, and Frida Kahlo and Immersive Biography are among those that have been hugely popular. So to get some insight into these shows and why people keep coming back, we met up with Jacob Pinholster, founding director of the Arizona State University Media and Immersive Experience Center. Brand new Emerging Media Technology Center that we built to be at the leading edge of this field of immersive media technologies that has evolved over the past five to 10 years. First, let's take a look at their origin. It's really amazing because it's like five or six different factors. It was projection technology and playback systems becoming cheaper, more affordable, easier to use. Combine that with the need for museums to bring in new, younger, audiences. It was the confluence of all those things around a time when everybody's already experienced with video games and with this idea of universes. You have gamers yeah. who are used to like rotating their joystick and their little guy, you know, is <laughs> looking all around and the experience literally is all around you. That was probably one of the tilting motions that sort of led us into that. Millions of tickets have been sold for these successful exhibits that provide a one-of-a-kind, multi-sensory experience. Something about literally standing in the middle of something that is emphasizing and amplifying that experience. Colorful digital projections, sound, and VR submerge visitors into the life and work of each subject. They're painters that had an intensely different view of the world, so I think there's something about seeing through their eyes that's really interesting. Yeah, like you have a little minute where you're in their head. Yeah, exactly. These projects offer big production value that can easily be transported from city to city reaching a wide range of audiences. You just need projectors. You don't need to rebuild the space. Right. You just move right into a space and project all over the walls. So it's a, something that's infinitely portable. Finally, it's no secret that these experiences have become a social media hit, which begs the question, is their purpose art appreciation or entertainment? I've heard a lot of people say, it's for the gram. <laughs> yeah. and is it? I mean, it depends on the user, right? Like that's what art's always been about is what value does the end user, the audience member get out of the experience? Because ultimately every ticket sold equals support for the arts industry. I hope there are people that are coming in just to get a selfie backdrop because they're doing it for the gram, but then they're discovering something more, right? Like they're discovering some new experience. That's always been the way like art works on some level. We're immersing ourselves into art exhibitions at the top of the list.